What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm going to be showing you the top 5 best third person shooting games to check out on iOS and Android in 2018. I'll throw links in the description for all these games and I'm going to be kicking things off here with Time Recoil. Now this game is one of my favorite shooting games. It's got a couple different gameplay modes. There's a story mode and a time attack mode. Um, but I'll tell you what, uh, this game is very addictive, it's very cool, it's got a time travel aspect to it, so I mean the game is just really good. Okay, so the action in it is obviously where it's at, but the thing that I love about this game too is the soundtrack on it is just ridiculously good. So, the music on here is really good, um, you've got some really good action, and uh, you know, we'll get into it here. I'll tell you what though, I just love this game, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Alright, so you can shoot through through walls in this, and then you've got like blood splattering kills pretty much too, which is awesome. So I mean, there's just a lot of cool stuff in this one. Let's uh, try to get some of this ammo right here. Alright, so basically when you finish a level, uh, you're going to be, be traveling through time. It's pretty cool, but anyways, that's literally just the beginning of this game. Time Recoil is just a super solid, you know, third person shooter. I mean, you got to check this one out. Uh, I want to get on to the next game, which is going to be Neon Chrome. Okay, so this game is uh, pretty cool too. I mean, it's kind of similar to a Time Recoil, uh, but this game feels like uh, just like a sci-fi type of game. It almost feels like Blade Runner for anybody out there who's seen Blade Runner. It's got a really cool beginning to it. We're going to get into the, uh, you know, beginning scenes pretty much in here, but the action in it's really good. Uh, and, you know, if you're looking for a really cool third person shooter, this game looks amazing visually. It's also got a good, a really good soundtrack on it too, which is awesome. All right, so yeah, I mean, this game is very impressive, uh, you know, visually. Okay, so we're going to get into a spot here. This is uh, pretty much how the game starts, but, um, you know, we're going to get killed in a second uh, by some of these, like, monster, you know, kind of like uh, dudes that are going to come out of this hibernation chamber right here. All right, anyways, that's how this game starts. Um, Neon Chrome, you know, it's a beautiful looking game. The action is really good, and then you've got a great soundtrack. You really can't beat this one. It's definitely a top choice. All right, so the next game I've got is kind of like a hidden gem. It's called Atomine. Um, this game's actually like a high score based game. Uh, it's very cool, it's very unique, and uh, you know, definitely think you gotta check this one out too. So we'll get into it, we'll see how we do here. Um, hard to explain this game exactly, but uh, it's a very addictive game. Like I said, it's high score based and you're gonna you're starting off as a cube and you've got to kill, you know, different enemies in this and uh, you know, you move on to the next level. Anyways, we'll get into some of it. It's an, it's a game with another really good soundtrack on it too. So I mean, I love a game with good music. This one's, you know, right in there. Okay, so each time you get in a level, in the top right hand corner, it'll tell you how many enemies you have to kill. I've got to kill four more, and then you're going to have pretty much eight, uh, eight lives, meaning that you can get hit eight times, uh, you know, without dying. So anyways, or before dying, I mean. So anyways, when you finish a level, uh, you go into this little orb right here, and it uploads you to the next level. It's pretty cool. So anyways, we'll keep things going here. We'll see if we can, uh, you know, do pretty good. I've gotten to like the fifth level in here. It's actually pretty hard, so.
All right, cool. So we'll make our way here to the uh, third level, and then I'm going to wrap things up. But, you know, this game is very fun. Like I said, it is very addictive, believe me. It's a great game for uh, killing time when you've got, like, nothing to do. All right, that was a pretty bad start. Looks like we're going to get killed here. Okay, anyways, Adam Mine's a great third-person shooter. It's another game that I definitely recommend checking out. Uh, the next game we've got is Cover Fire. You know, obviously, this is one of my favorite games overall, you know, on, uh, you know, the App Store. Uh, or the Play Store, it is ridiculously fun. So anyways, um, there's a campaign in this as well as a uh, multiplayer. I've never really got into the uh, multiplayer so much, but the campaign on it is really good. So anyways, we'll kick things off with that. We'll get into a couple different levels here. We're going to have a uh, you know some assault missions as well as uh, sniping missions. So kick things off here with an assault mission. I'll do a sniping mission for everybody. This game looks really good too. So I mean, visually, it's, it, it's another really good looking game. And then it's got slow motion kills in it too, which are just ridiculously awesome. I mean, when you're, uh, which you'll see in just a second. All right, so anytime you are about to finish a level, it does this slow motion where the bullet comes out the chamber and just goes into whoever you're shooting at. It is awesome. Uh, you know, a lot of games with the slow motion killing, this is one of the first games I've seen where they really show, like, the bullet going through the chamber. It's really cool. So anyways, I love that about this game. Uh, you know what, let's get to, uh, I guess we're on, let's go for uh, one more level and then I'll get into a sniping mission here. I think this should be another assault mission, so... All right, very nice, taking this guy out right here. All right, so I do want to get a, a sniping mission in now that we, uh, you know, cleared out another assault mission. Oh, man, you got to love the flying off the bridge right there. It's pretty awesome. All right, so anyways, let's... Uh where we're at here. Alright, looks like this is a sniping mission, so let's uh let's get into it. Or no, this is not a this is a rocket mission. Oh, this is pretty sweet. Let's keep it going here. Alright, this is kind of better than a sniping mission, honestly. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna wrap things up there on a cover fire. I think I showed enough of how good this game really is. I mean, it's definitely a must download. Uh, the last game I've got is uh, kind of like another hidden gem. It's called uh, Dead Rain. So Dead Rain is a third person zombie shooting game. It's level based and it's just very fun. So anyways, there's a lot of different levels to play in this. You're gonna have character upgrades in this as well. And it's, uh, you know, kind of like an arcade style shooting game. It's very fun and, uh, you know, it's a, it's definitely like a nice looking game too. I like how they uh, they created the theme to this game. It's all you know real solid. So Man, we're just busting through zombies here. No mercy. All right, let's get into uh, one more level here. Let's clear things out here with level five. This game really starts to get hard once you get to like level seven or level eight. Otherwise, it's uh, it's fairly not too hard in the uh, first few levels here.
Oh man, am I really gonna die here? Looks like it. All right, anyways, I ran out of ammo. Okay, anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed the list on g these games, though. I mean, they're all real solid. I'll have links in the description for all of them. Um, if you could also hit the like and share button on this video, I'd definitely appreciate that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.